Hello, everybody. Welcome back to LettermanRow.com. I am Jeremy Birmingham. This is Bermanology. We are whipping around the country. And right now we're whipping around the Ohio State roster and it is running back week. And with that, I wanted to talk with Richard Young, the country's number one ranked running back in the class of 2023. He's from Fort Myers, uh, Florida. And um, it, it's a it, it's a recruitment, Richard, that has been going on now for almost two years. And pretty much the first time I heard about you, everyone knew that you were going to be a, the dude in your class. Yes, sir. How how has it been just trying to live up to that expectation? I mean, the number one ranked player at your position that that's a that's a heavy weight, isn't it? Yes, sir. It definitely is. But like at the same time, I can't like let that get ahead of me. I just got to keep working because it can be other people that can go on the field and get better too. So like my goal is to stay on top, keep working, and keep pushing, and keep grinding until I can't no more. When did you know that football was going to give you this opportunity? Because again, uh, Coach Cheney, your 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 coach there at Lehigh Acres, uh, Lehigh Senior. I said Fort Myers, but it's Lehigh, just so everyone's out there. Um, coach Cheney told me about you as a freshman, and he said you were going to be something really special. But when did you know that? I knew that pop Warner year, uh, my eighth grade year, when I. Uh, when I knew I was going to be special, when I first got like, I, I seen colleges like really starting to look at me at my eighth grade year and me going to like my uh, future stars game. So that's when I know for sure that I was going to be that dude. Where does that come from? I mean, uh, just a little bit of the background. What is the athletic background in your family and who taught you the game of football? Uh, my uncle, definitely my uncle. Um yeah, definitely my uncle been talking to game football since uh, I was a little kid. So, like, ever since, I look up to him on everything he does. You've got a, a busy June coming up. You're going to see pretty much every school in the country that is, you know, a, a, a playoff caliber program. You have offers from everyone. It'd be easier to list who you don't have them from. What is June going to do for you in your recruitment? What is the most important part of this month? So my process doing like um, June is to see like the environment, see the coaches, see how they act and just basically learn to see the things I need to learn and things that like, and then plus like which program that uh, fits me the best. So that's definitely what I'm looking for when I get up on my June visits. Do you have an idea of what it is that you're actually looking for? I mean, as far as what what does it take to fit Richard Young the best? What is, what is the key item or two that makes the, the biggest difference for you? Definitely the running style. Definitely that. And then just like the running schemes too also. Like I want to know how they run it, what uh, the place they run, things like that. So the things that fit me the best, like, like power and stuff. But like I know I got to learn different when I get to college. But I'm just looking for for some type of things that fit me the best. When I get in college. Uh, for, for people who are watching your film right now for the first time, give us an idea, Richard. What kind of running back are you? Who do you model your game after? Who do you see when you watch film? Tony Michelle, definitely Sonny Michelle and Najee Harris. But they see those two and uh, uh, J.K. Dobbins. Definitely uh, those three. Like power, speed, physical, and got that vicious cut when they make, when they need to make that cut. So you listed three running backs that are very different sizes. You have a, a kid like JK who is, you know, five foot nine, 220 pounds. You have a Sony Michelle who's in that six foot range. You have a Najee Harris who's in that six two range. Yes, you're, sir. you're listed at six foot 190 pounds on your profiles. What are you now? Right now I'm six, almost six one and I'm 200 pounds. So as you start to look at these schools, and, and I know relationships are always, I, I it's one of those things that everyone knows you need, right? I mean, everyone, it's all about relationships. Coach Cheney is is a very well-known guy down there at uh, Lehigh Senior. He's helped kind of guide the way here for you and, and got you introduced to coaches like Tony Alford at Ohio State. What is the relationship with Coach Alford like right now? Right now, um, that's my dude. That's definitely my dude because me and him, the relationship we've, we built this relationship for months now. So, like, basically, he's just like another father figure to me doing this process and doing, like, the relationship we have that I never had with any other coach. So, definitely, me and, I, me and uh, Coach Tony have an uh, amazing relationship right now. 
Is it something that you think is enough? Like, because you, you guys haven't ever met in person, I assume. So, you know, you get up to Ohio State here in, in, in 10 days or, or however many days it's going to be that June 8th through the 11th. Is it is is there any worry that it won't be as genuine in person? No, I'm definitely not worried. I'm definitely not worried. I believe everything Coach uh, Tony says, and like I believe every word. So I'm I'm definitely not worried about that. Walk us through, if you could, Richard, the, the rest of June. I know that there's the Ohio State on June 8th through the 11th. There's the Future 50 in Bradenton at the IMG Academy on June 12th. I know there's stops in there to Georgia, to Alabama, to Clemson. What else have you got going on for the month? Um, I have uh, Florida. University of Florida and um, the cookout. Hopefully, I'll, I'll make it to uh, the cookout in Oklahoma the 19th. So, as you know, Florida obviously is a talent rich state. I mean, there's there's tons of guys who are nationally ranked, big time players. You and Trey Webb and um, Brandon Ennis down there in Miami, you guys are all in the same class. You're all number one ranked players at your position, you're all five stars uh, in the early rankings. You guys have known each other for a long time. How do, how do those relationships, you know, matter now? And do you guys talk a lot about the possibility of all playing together at the next level? Definitely, definitely. We always talk. We were just texting not even too long ago. Like, we always talk about, like, because since fifth grade, we always been talking about getting to where we at now. Like, we didn't have nothing. And we've seen kids, like, getting offers, getting, like, stars ranked before us. And we knew. We was better than them, but at the same time, we knew, okay, it's time to work hard. It's time to keep pushing. It's time to grind. It's time. And then ever since, we started building up, building up, building up. And our dream finally came true now of what we wished for and what uh, God had uh, gift us, uh, gifted us. So we definitely um, plan to um, go to the same college. Hopefully, if not, we always still going to be brothers no matter what. So hopefully – that's the goal right now. We uh, see what college fit us the best and definitely combine and make a uh, college team better. I think it's interesting. Again, you know, you're talking, you, you, you're you on the West Coast of Florida. Um, yes, Trey's up in Jacksonville. Brandon's down in Miami. How did you guys all get to know each other when you were, you know, 10, right, 11 so, years old? Uh, the Future 50. I'm at the uh, Future Stars game. That's when uh, we um, all combined to, like, we played in the Future Stars game um, as fifth graders. Uh, yeah, we played as fifth graders, sixth graders, seventh graders, and eighth graders. That's when we all played together. We played those four, yeah, four years together, and we just built a strong relationship through them years. So that's how we connected together. Has there been any – I mean, it's early, obviously. You guys still have – 18 months until you have to make any sort of signing day decision or longer than that if you want. Have you guys started to talk about maybe all making an announcement together or having like a, you know, one one big moment where, you know, 15 star Friday or whatever you want to call it? See, we, we did think about that, but but like we all committed because we, we was going to commit at the uh, UA, the UA game. That was, that was our goal, but we all – Switch our they two of them switched their commitment. Uh, Webb switched his to uh to the All American, and Brandon was already All American uh commit. So, and I'm I'm sticking with UA. So, we but we plan but I'll go either way wherever we, um we at like if they're at the um All American, I'm at the UA. We're gonna commit on halftime together. You and, and Trey Webb, I mean, Trey is all – he's listed as an athlete, but a lot of schools are recruiting him as a running back. Is there a discussion about you guys? Does it matter that you you could both potentially play the same position, or does it actually make you feel like better that, hey, he he and I could do this together? Oh, we can definitely do it together. Me and him in the backfield, it's unstoppable. I don't see – we go to the same school together, I don't see no one stopping us in the backfield. I, I, I don't. It's like another two-headed monsters. Definitely in the backfield that we don't see no other college team stopping him. Because we both get bigger, we both get stronger. It just, I don't see no one uh, stopping us. You uh, are making that first visit to Ohio State, as we said. You know, the relationship with Tony Alford is, is likely right now the best you have with any college coach. What is it about Ohio State that, outside of Coach Alford, what are you really looking forward to learning about Ohio State? 
I want to learn like the environment there and like just like besides like the coaching of football, like I want to know the lifestyle too. How they like the family and stuff like that. That's what I also want to learn about like the coaching is that coach at Ohio State. So that's what I'm definitely looking for. Do you have like a, an impression in your mind of what you expect Columbus to be? Crazy. Definitely crazy. That's what I'm expecting to be crazy. You're the first p- recruit that I've talked to since Ohio announced that it was going to be um, working towards name, image, and likeness legislation in the state of Ohio to make sure that players down the road are able to capitalize and profit on their own name or image and likeness. So I just want to ask, I mean, how, how important is it to you as in the class of 2023, you guys are probably probably going to be the first class that can really take advantage of this on your own. How much guidance or how important is it for you to get guidance on those opportunities for you in college? Uh, it's just important to me just to get even those little type of things because everything, when I get a call, everything matters to me. So it just how it, yeah, how it is. I guess what I'm wondering is, you know, for years in, re- in recruiting, the idea has been that what matters the most is your relationships with the coaches and who you trust, right? Yes, sir. And, and now there's going to be this opportunity to, to make money in college that wasn't there even last year. I wonder, do you feel like there will be some opportunities or some schools that suggest that maybe the chance to make money is more important than the relationships or, or is it more important than the relationships? So basically you said, does money, like, can you say it one more time? Will will the opportunity to make money in college, do you think that that will um, reduce the importance of relationships with with coaches? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Because no matter what, how much money I make in college, our relationship with the coach is still going to be there 100%. So it's not going to make no difference. The way I see it is this, like if, if you're at a school and you have an opportunity to capitalize on your name, image, and likeness, the, you, the ability to capitalize goes up based on how well you play and how much you play. So those relationships still matter, I guess, right? Yes, sir. Definitely. What, what, you know, if you could look into a crystal ball, Richie, what do you see as the timeline for you to, to finally know where you want to go to school? Even if you know you're going to make an announcement at the All-American game or something in your senior year, when do you feel like in your head you want to have a decision made? After my se- senior year. Not at, like after, yeah, after my, basically like my junior year during the summer, that's why I'm, I, I feel like. I should know my decision after the season's over. I feel like I should know my decision by then. So roughly a year from now, once you can make official visits and that kind of stuff. Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, look, I don't want to keep you much longer. I know you're a busy man. You got a a, a lot of stuff going on. So I will let you get out of here on that note because, as we said, it's running back week at Letterman Row. That's Richard Young, the country's number one ranked 2023 running back prospect. I'm Jeremy Birmingham. This has been Bermanology. Thanks for watching.